Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago and welcome to Cooking with Nonna. So today, in honor of St. Joseph's Day, which is March 19th, we're going to be making some super special St. Joseph's Day pasta, barese style. And I have my beautiful Nonna Romana, my favorite Nonna, with me. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. And we're going to make the St. Joseph's Day pasta? Yes. They call it, in Italian, they call it Mafalda pasta, Mafalda. So this pasta, the traditional name is called Lagana di San Giuseppe. And the typical pasta of St. Joseph's Day, it's a little bit different throughout Italy. In Sicily, they do pasta con le sarde, pasta with fresh sardines. And in the Puglia, the Apulia region, we do it a little bit differently. We like to use a pasta called Lagana, called the Mafalda, excuse me. And mafalda look like this with the little uh, curly edges. And this is going to obviously expand when we cook it. And uh, this, no, no, why, perché usiamo questa pasta? Why do we use this kind of pasta? Well, they call it uh, mafalda because uh, San Giuseppe is a carpenter. They work wood. And when they work, uh, they, they cut in the, in the top of the wood, you know, uh, and they make uh, look like that, pasta. So you know? this has some historical significance. It was said that obviously what Nonna said, St. Joseph was a carpenter. So when he would work with the wood, he would kind of shave off pieces of the wood and they look like this pasta. They wrote, this pasta represents the wood shavings of St. Joseph. So we're going to make a toasted breadcrumb with this pasta that is supposed to represent the sawdust of St. Joseph. And then the fish component is going to be anchovies. So it's a really super simple pasta dish. And what's the significance of anchovies? I'm really not sure. I think there's always a fish component, but uh, the main thing here is the wood part, is the carpentry part. So our ingredients for our St. Joseph's Day pasta, our Lagana di San Giuseppe, are mafalde pasta. And if you don't have mafalde, you can use papardelle or something with an equal width. That's really what you want to go for. We have some breadcrumbs that we're going to toast some olive oil for the sauce, some anchovies, and some olive oil to toast the breadcrumbs. And then our next ingredient is pasta water. So I'm just going to grab that right out of the pot while the pasta is cooking. So, no, no, what are we going to do first? You got to fry the breadcrumbs. Uh, bread okay, so we're going to start by getting our oil nice and hot. And... Non pour too high the flame, you know. Okay. You have to let burn. Mm -hmm. It's actually really easy to burn the breadcrumbs. So she is right. You don't want to, and then you don't want to burn the breadcrumbs. So you don't want a flame that's going to be too, too high. And then you're just going to add your breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. And remember for measurements, just head over to cookingwithnona.com for all of your measurements. And then you're just going to start turning your breadcrumbs in the oil, and they're going to get nice and toasty. They're going to come gold. Yeah, they're going to come like a nice golden brown mm -hmm. color. And this is really enough oil. You don't want to use too much oil in the toasting of the breadcrumbs because then they're going to be really heavy. You want kind of a lighter breadcrumb mixture. Mm -hmm. You never stop to turn. turn always turn, always turn, always turn. So you can jazz this up. You can use any kind of breadcrumbs you want as long as they're plain. You can use whole wheat, you can use panko. Just try not to use the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs because that's going to add some flavors to your pasta that you don't really want. This is a really, really typical cucina povera dish, right? Yeah. This is very cucina povera. Yeah, very cucina povera. Very, very inexpensive. Uh, this was really the only ingredients people would have on hand at a, at a certain time. You would have some, some anchovies on hand, you would have some pasta, and you would have some water and oil and breadcrumbs, essentially. The breadcrumbs are probably from day-old bread. So this is a really, really traditional St. Joseph's Day recipe. Our breadcrumbs are just starting to turn golden brown. I've been mm -hmm. stirring this entire time. That's and good. at this point, you have to be really careful because they'll go from golden brown to burnt in about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So we got some nice, beautiful, Color. some nice color on them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to transfer these, and we're going to set them aside. That way you got to take off. The other way they burn. See? That way. Very short window. 
So in my nona's house, she would always have day-old bread lying around, and they would make breadcrumbs out of it all the time and toast them up like this and keep them for a bunch of different pastas, not just the St. Joseph pasta. So I'm just going to set that aside. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to wait for these to cool down, and we're going to start making the rest of our sauce. Okay, so our mafalda pasta is boiling, and we're ready to make our sauce for our Lagana di San Giuseppe. It's a beautiful anchovy sauce. It's really, really simple and quick, right? No, no, this sauce you make fast. Yeah, right away. Let me make right it. away, okay. So yeah, we got to make. fast. So put a, first oil here. Oil? Okay. Yeah. You open the. Okay, I'll turn this on because the yeah, stove is a little high tech for Nonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some olive oil nice and hot. And this sauce literally has three things. It's got some oil, it's got some anchovies, and it's going to have some pasta water. The pasta water is going to have some starch in it. So it's going to give our white sauce a lot of body and uh, a little bit more texture. Yeah, when the, the oil comes a little out, you got to put a, a, a chop. Our anchovies. Yeah. Now, the tricky part is that you can't have the oil too hot, right? Non si deve fare l'olio no, troppo no, caldo. No, no, that's way the art of the, the, the burn. Yeah, so it's really yeah. about getting the oil the perfect temperature for something like this. Yeah. E come lo sai quando l'olio sta bene? Oh, well, even you put it before, it's okay, not it up. Just you got to put the, the boil water when, uh, when you, you, after you put a, a salt in the oil. Yeah. And the water boil, they make all melt the, the uh, anchovy. So this is a pasta dish that you eat as a standalone, right? Il giorno di San Giuseppe si mangia solo yeah, questa pasta. Yeah, just this one. It's nothing, you know, because uh, if, if you can uh, uh, eat the pasta, the other thing, fish, you know, just this one. So like I said, mm -hmm. this is the typical St. Joseph pasta for the town of Mola di Bari, which you all know that we're from, from watching the show. And in Mola di Bari, on St. Joseph's Day, even if your name's not Joseph, this is the star of the show. This is the main dish of the meal. Tradition. So you would eat your Lagana di San Giuseppe, and if you were lucky, you would eat a nice zeppola. So we mm -hmm. almost have our oil hot enough. It's okay? I could put the anchovy? Yeah, you can put it. Okay. Gonna start moving the anchovy around. Yeah. After you gotta put a boil water for the pasta. See? Okay, take this one now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is gonna spatter a little, little bit. Don't be afraid. It's all good. Just make sure mm -hmm. you keep moving I put the mixture around. See the uh, I've chosen the camel all uh, Yeah, the you know, anchovies are breaking down really look nicely. Like flour, you know? Yeah, good. Okay. And you don't add any salt to this, right? I know because I chose uh, it's a salt. They yeah, have we're not salt. adding any salt because the anchovies mm. have all high salt content on their own. So you really don't need any salt, you don't need any cheese. This is just a really, really simple, true-to-form example of cucina povera. Okay, it's enough like that. So now that our sauce is done, our mafalde pasta, since it is a little bit of a thicker pasta, it could take a little bit longer to cook. It could take about 12 to 14 minutes. Um, we probably have a few more minutes left, so we're going to take a break, and as soon as the pasta is done, we'll come right back. Okay, so we're back and our pasta is all done and we're just going to transfer mm -hmm. it into this dish here. Yeah. Put close. And normally I am a huge, huge advocate of finishing a pasta inside a sauce. I am not all about that putting pasta in a dish and pouring sauce all over it, but this would be the, like, the one instance where it's just the traditional way it's done, and that's the way it's got to go. Okay, so now that we have our pasta plated, I'm just going to take our anchovy sauce, and I'm just going to pour. You just F. But I want all of it. F, you got to pour some in the top. 
after you put a crumb okay, bread. Okay, so we're going to put half right now, and then we're going to put our crumb bread, as Nona likes to say. Mm -hmm. And this was a really big deal for my Nona to make because she has a son named Giuseppe, or Joey, but his real name yeah. is Geppino, which is yeah. another Giuseppe. So. Yeah, he won. He wait because they, <laughs> they love her. Like uh, Saint Joseph, some years I don't do for him. They say, "Ma, what happened? You see, if you don't make." <laughs> yeah, he gets very upset when he doesn't get yeah. his Saint Joseph's Day pasta. His name he day is that. a very. It's like bigger than my uncle Joey's birthday. I love that. And Take then the fork. You mix a little bit this one. We're gonna mix it a little bit, and then we yeah. put the rest of the sauce take on the top. Take the fork. Fork, you gotta take, not this okay. one. Let me get our forks out, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna yeah, mix. mix a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's enough. Okay. Put all this one in the top. And we're going to get the rest of the breadcrumbs. Yeah. You want this to have a nice texture, and it's, it's really delicious. It's got this wonderful, crunchy texture from the breadcrumbs. You do like that, see? See? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks beautiful. And, and you put some, the rest of the salt. The rest of the sauce. So you had half yeah. the sauce at the beginning, you and we're going to add. You know, no, all together, like that, see? Just take a spoon, get in there, mm -hmm. and you're going to dress the rest of the pasta with the sauce. It's so good. I love that. <laughs> so this is a pasta that you would eat once a year. This is a very special, traditional dish. But I like it. Some I know some people make it more than once a year just because they like eating it, but this is a once a year kind of deal, so go all out. Okay, put on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I, I can put all of it? You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Are you sure? I'm sure, yeah, it's enough. Uh, they come good like that. They come good? They gotta, uh, they gotta have a little sauce, you know, not too, not too dry, the other way no good. No, dry pasta, it's no good. Yeah, yeah, this like that. Okay, so we got a taste too now. Yeah, sure. We got a taste now, no? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's just grab. Mm. Mm. So good, no? It's so, so good. The mm -hmm. salt content is perfect from the anchovy. You got the saltiness from the anchovy. You got the toasted flavor from the breadcrumbs. You got a little bit of crunch in there. This is a perfect St. Uh, St. Joseph's Day pasta. Yeah, it's perfect. They come very good. And if you don't want to wait for March 19th, just go ahead and make it. I won't tell anybody. And uh, no, no, you got to tell somebody they make before St. Joseph Day? Well, sometimes they, they make. Some people, are, because they love, they make. It's okay. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Sure, you do the way you want. <laughs> when, uh, when I like one plate, uh, I do any time. Yeah, when you don't I care. Want, I don't care, uh, you know. The <laughs> when uh, San Giuseppe come, I never, you know. I do, anytime. Well, thank you for being on the show today, and thank you for always being my nonna. And thank uh, you. let's uh, give auguri to all the San Giuseppe out there, okay? Thank you. Auguri. Thank you. Auguri, auguri a San Giuseppe. Tutti. <laughs> Tanti auguri a tutti quelli che si chiamano Giuseppe. <laughs> Special for my son, this is Joseph. <laughs> auguri, ciao. Ciao, ciao.